<laughs> I said I need to work out. I need to work on my um what's it called? My felicitations, my greetings. And so guys, this is my first video. It's very exciting what I'm wearing. If you're on my Instagram, I'm sure you will have seen this outfit. So yeah, I'm filming on this day. So yeah. <laughs> um yeah. I, I should show you what I'm wearing. Turtle neck, um a puff skirt. I will attach a picture by the side. Um turtle neck, a puff skirt and a green um sleeveless blazer kind of thing. Um I got this, my friend made this for me. Sedonix at Sedonix NG. Yes, yes, yes. And then I got this from Primark Primark and <laughs> my hair is dyed. So yeah, the picture I wore it with the clear sandals. And I got the sandals from ASOS. So that picture should be here. Hopefully it's there. <laughs> um so yeah. So last time I had done like a QA with just like personal getting on me before I think it was my first video, yes. And then I had many girls come to my DMs and say the sweetest thing. The support I have had so far has been so amazing and I'm so grateful. Um, but yeah, I will answer some of the questions again because I, I feel like there's a lot more to be. Ah, this gets well. So puffy. Okay, so I saw some of the questions that I should answer. Um, someone said, you said you were not confident but to me you were oh lord i apologize for that <laughs> everybody's like you know me funny <laughs> i'm sorry okay so yeah i wanted to go to my dm she said oh um, let me read it out she said i said i'm, I'm not confident but i i seem that way to her well, it's, this is my thing. I didn't. I am. I said I wasn't confident. I, I just wanted to kind of like let you know that every single person goes through like not a phase. Everybody goes through, like nobody has got it figured out. That's the thing. That's that's what I meant by like that. I feel like everybody. I think confidence is like the peak you have to be like. But you get up each day. You give yourself like. I I think I'm more determined than. I'm more determined than confident, if that's, the, if that's the word. I tell myself, wake up, stand up, go, you know, and I just go. And, and that's really it. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. I just go. I just want to be happy. I just, I'm determined to be happy. I'm determined to, like, pursue my goals. I'm determined to be better. I'm determined to, like, do things that, I, you know, I'm determined. So I think it's more being determined and being confident so i just want these things so maybe it's a go getter kind of thing but it's not like i have some kind of like magic confidence inside of me that i'm like oh yes i'm a superwoman kind of no that's, that's not that's not it at all so yeah i just wanted to clear that um yeah so i had some things i'm a christian i believe in god i believe in jesus and i have a relationship with god that is just completely it's so beautiful it's so personal it's so i think everybody does have their like authentic personal relationship with god and that's a very beautiful thing like it's a big part of my life it's the biggest part of my life it rules everything like my faith in god rules every single thing so i had um questions about about um, christian women that spoke about some kind of things like um waiting for a plus size a plus size christian woman a plus size woman generally and a christian woman um waiting for um the right one waiting waiting for things to kind of align in your life waiting for you know the waiting process and um, how it works for me okay so basically i didn't get married in like my 20s i got married when i was 30 and um i'm not even going to lie to you the waiting process for me wasn't to be very fair and, and this is me being very vulnerable it was not like a something that maybe because i just felt like i wasn't ready yet 
in my mind i didn't think i was ready yet to be a whole wife like outside marriage bruh outside marriage when you're thinking about marriage it's a thing of like it, it, it looks so big so i didn't think that i was ready i didn't think that i was ready for that kind of huge commitment i still like to myself like oh one person for life one man that you're you know dedicated to and all those kind of like things no marriage issues well what i thought were marriage issues from hearing from you know how it is the media these days i don't think that they're really kind of like giving us positive um, look on marriage or like we from the outside at that time i didn't feel like i had any kind of thing because i would see people i knew get married and then the next like couple of months or two three days they would divorce and i and i'm <laughs> you know being from the outside but i just did not think that i would be in a marriage that at that time I, I could sustain i just felt oh what am i doing you know if i'm praying for this man am i ready for this man and all those things so at that point the waiting it didn't feel like waiting it felt like indecisiveness so i was neither here or there i was i wanted to be with when i think about the societal pressure especially from like society yes family and like oh husband oh you know all those things husband are you sure they will marry you you're plus size girls all those kind of negative things i hear them i, I don't really hear them a lot to be very fair but once in a while people imply it or people say it and those things will kind of like make me think oh no one even deserves me or I might be ready for marriage because you know what about the inside of marriage that kind of thing so at that period i was praying for the husband and then i was also working on myself if that makes any sense i was working on my because i'm very outspoken man. i'm very passionate about whatever it is that i do and so i i had to kind of like tell myself to be better for myself first and then my work with God, everything happened. But then I met my husband, and because we started as friends for for a long time, we were just friends actually. So because we started as friends, and um, we, he was in my church at that time, so it was a thing that we were um, we, were, we were just kind of working. He was working. Well, let's say he was working on me, or God was working on me through him. I never had a guy tell me, let us pray. And the first time he said it, I burst. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> he said, let us pray. And I'm like, no. No more guys will be like, um, what are you doing? What are you wearing? Kind of thing. My husband, no. After like he spoke for a while, he goes, oh, let's pray about this. Or randomly we'll burst into like worship and then maybe we'll be driving somewhere and inside the car we'll burst into worship and we'll just start praying and for me that felt safe enough for me to be a better person so whilst i was waiting and being his friend to get to the next level i was becoming better for myself if that makes any sense so the waiting for me didn't feel like hell if that makes sense. it didn't feel like hell if i had gotten married earlier maybe in my 20s i don't think i'll be married now I do, I do not honestly you know how god has to like break you and then fix you back for a reason for a purpose if i my point is i was so up there i was so up there i was so you know i just didn't think anybody was i thought i was the you know but god who humble you break you down humble you and then that's how how it was for me it just broke me fixed me back together and then of course i had my i had my husband in the picture and he was it's just made things amazing god definitely definitely used him in my life and yeah so that that was the waiting for me so if i have to i don't like to give advice because i feel like everybody's story is unique but if i would recommend anything i would say work on yourself and the rest will follow like as a christian woman work on yourself with god work on yourself with in your faith work on yourself in your relationship around you like your friends your family with me i i didn't particularly work on my my friends as far but i was nice i was, I was a more um i could empathize now my friendships my relationship i had to work on my 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 family so i speak very fast 
my relationship with my family like my mom i deliberately wanted us to be closer we are really close but i just wanted to i wanted her to know that I, i'm a shoulder if anything I, i'm her child like i wanted her to kind of like be able to trust me i wanted to earn her trust so badly so i worked on that i worked on my relationship with, i worked on my relationship with my now husband at the time i was because we used to fight a lot actually <laughs> when we first met so yeah i worked on my temper i worked on so many things so many things i personally decided to work on them for myself so yeah so if i recommend anything, if I recommend anything I, i'll say work on yourself and you know be better for yourself and the rest of the wild brain you know that god sends a man that finds you of course yeah so that's it um let me just go to i'm trying to go to my dm and see because there were a lot and i wanted to address them okay so um this one i don't know how to explain this also approach this that's the word um as a plus size girl do i think that um well i had <laughs> you know i said about like um not showing skin because i feel like it's my it's my um, private you know i i find i keep it private for my husband and i find it amazing that i can do that just like keep secret to my you know my husband and my both of us okay so Mm, okay i i don't want i'm not bashing anyone about them dressing however you dress is your choice that's 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 your life is your choice but for me i just don't see the need to um show so much skin or show i don't know it's just a personal thing i guess and i i think that over time I have grown from that person. I would never pack, wear a pants and bikini and all this and take a picture even if I was skinny. I just wouldn't. So I'm not I'm I'm not saying that um plus size girl shouldn't be like like plus size girl should be normal it should be normal that your size big small plus size is normal. And it should be normal like it should not be a thing of oh because you're big don't wear that because i don't like that i don't like to be cute or like I, i don't like that being plus size means that you have to be not dressed well or be timid or or not be normal but <laughs> i wouldn't wear that personally for myself i wouldn't i feel like this is my own resolve i like to dress well but i also cover up I might try and dress I want to be sexy I will show curves and all of those things that's fine but personally I just would not show so much or wear something very skimpy and go online this is a personal thing this is my own work with myself my own walk with God my you know it's my own personal thing I just do not like to show skin that I would have to I I I wouldn't wear um any kind of bra and take a picture with it and post on my IG or post on my social media I wouldn't it's just a personal thing I I I think I have and if you as a plus size girl wear that wear what you're wearing and take a picture with it and you're comfortable you're not defensive your mind you're okay with it then go ahead But I know one thing for sure that most of these people that wear them and are always very defensive. Yes, this one, that one. I don't have to brag that I'm a plus size girl and so I'm posi- I'm body positive. I don't have to go naked with body body positive. This is my thinking. I don't have to. I don't see the need to go naked and be posi- body positive. I don't. I can decide to um dress up. Maybe something share or th- this is my own. This is just literally my own um personal you know i guess my own personal resolve i can try to dress up and not cover maybe like show a bit of skin or something share and that's okay for me but i don't have to say oh i'm body positive so i would wear a bikini 
and show you all my flaps or show you all my fruit power or show you I don't have to I love myself enough I don't have to defend myself to anybody I don't have to so don't feel the need don't think that I said that I'm being like I'm holding back or I'm judging, I'm not judging anybody for whatever they do but personally my own message is not to and that's not my, I don't think I'm that extreme in my message I am very okay but I don't have to go naked to do all of those things so I saw this last night hence why I wanted to do the video because I, I just thought why would I why would someone think that I would have to like show so much skin to be called body positive I don't have to no, I am very. I, I feel like all body is good body. All bodies have a good body type. That being said, I don't have to go naked to say that to prove that. That's my point. So yeah, um, I think that's it for how many minutes are we going to go now? Ten. Okay. So <laughs> what is that? I have someone behind. So I think that's all I have time for at the moment. Um, please ask, ask, I like all these questions. I like them because I, it makes me kind of like express myself the way I would want to. Um, yeah. One thing is certain, love yourself. And the way you love yourself, you want better things for yourself. You aspire to be better. You, better, you, you think better. Whatever you do, make sure you're comfortable with it. Don't do it because you're seeing it somewhere else or it, it looks cool. No. I dyed my hair. I love to dye my hair. Like, whatever it is that I do, I love to do it. Not because I'm seeing it, or not because it's, uh, someone says, for me to be this way, I have to do that and do that. No. So, yeah, that's, that's it for me for today, guys. So, send me messages, send me DMs. I love all these questions about plus size. And, you know, yeah, I love all the messages. I think that the first question about waiting. It's funny how we have to wait when when God says um, everything like it will come to you, seek your first kingdom God and all the righteousness, and every every other thing will be added. I understand that, but one thing I used to question myself, I'm not questioning God, I question myself is the process that you are, that time, that space between where you are now and where you want to be, that time that you're the waiting, there is no written about in the bible where yeah, what you do when you wait or how to get by when you wait maybe there is praying and you know those things but i feel like that is the hardest part so yes i do understand that that is the hardest part so waiting from where you are and where you want to be that that space is tough but listen hold on and don't like it it, it might feel like a long time but it's eventually everything comes together so yeah i've become a spiritual speaker now so guys that's it for me today thank you guys don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you so much for listening to me i love you guys